Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel today. Today, I'm going to be making a bread pudding. So, <laughs> let's get started. Now, this recipe calls for um, 12 slices of, of bread with the crust cut off. I'm not doing that, I'm not doing that. I'm going to be using my leftover bread, you know, bread that you have that falls apart. So I'm just gonna take all this bread and break it apart like so. I'm not gonna cut the crust off. I'm not gonna do all of that. We're going to have this bread just like it is. Broken up and put into this bowl. Okay, I, I took my bread out of the bowl, so I'm gonna put together the wet portion, then I'll add the bread back to it. So, it calls for uh, four cups of milk. So we're just gonna get our milk here. Can't be that difficult, right? Calls for eight eggs. So I've got my eggs here. Eight eggs. Let's get those put in. As we do that, calls for two te uh, two teaspoons of vanilla. So, whatever vanilla you like, you know I like this brand. This is the Molina Mexican blend. That's what I like. I'm gonna put two of those. And I'm gonna stir that around. Calls for two teaspoons of cinnamon. It also calls for half a stick of melted butter. I'm not melting my butter. I'm just going to cut it up and put it in there when I put it in the bowl. That's how I'm going to do it. So stick with me. Let's get this bread pudding together. And I will come back and show you what it's looking like in just a few minutes. I'll be back. Okay, now, um, I'm going to We've got all of this together here. We're going to add our bread. Now, it adds, like I said, it called for the two teaspoons of um, cinnamon, a cup plus four ta tablespoons of sugar. And now we're going to put our bread in here. I'm just going to. It looks good. I need some more bread though. So I'm gonna get some more bread and add that to this. Butter. It says to melt it and pour it in, but I'm not doing that. I'm going to do it my way. <laughs> so, but I can't forget my butter. Uh, let me get the crust in there. Now, okay, it says. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 50 to 60 minutes. So we're gonna get this in the oven and I will come back and show you what this bread pudding looks like. Stay with me, I'll be back. Let's take this uh, bread pudding out of this oven and give it a try, huh? So, woo. Oops. 
Look at this pudding. As you can see, I set it inside of a, another pan. Let me bring you in so you can see this thing up close, huh? Look at that red pudding. Whew, I don't know where to start. Let me take, well, I better keep these on. I don't know if I want to get in the middle or Get on the edge. Just, I'm gonna let it set. It probably should let it set and cool off, but not me. Look at that. Oh. Red pudding. Now, let's give it a taste. It is extremely hot. Very good, very good. Not too sweet, very good. If you like this idea, hit that like button, give me a thumbs up, turn on your notification, subscribe if you have not, leave me a comment, let me know what you think about this. Maybe this will be something you would want to do for your Easter dessert um, in a couple of days, huh? So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.